All right, so step one is removing the interior paneling. And now different cars would have it a little bit different. I love to start out with removing the weather stripping to uh, be able to see uh, the way the paneling is connected to the vehicle. It'll give you a little bit more insight um, into how to remove the rest of the paneling. So I usually start out with the weather stripping, then go into the paneling. Most of the time the paneling is just connected with clips. Uh, but I usually like to get a screwdriver and undo the clips. Uh, then I look in the different bolts that hold the seat belt unit. Many of them will have uh, Allen wrenches or will do uh, Torx. Um, and so this particular car has a Torx. Um, I uh, go ahead and unbolt it. And um, so different cars, like I said, different cars will have different types of bolts that hold the uh, brackets in place. I usually like to put the bolts back either in place or in a box, that way I don't lose them. That really helps me to put uh, everything back in place and not lose any bolts or clips. Uh, don't ship the bolts with the seat belt, uh, rather keep your bolts and nuts um, with you in the car. Uh, this is a guide, uh, many vehicles will have a guide, some vehicles will not. Uh, some are metal, some are plastic. This particular one has an 8 millimeter. And here's also a plastic guide. So on a lot of the older vehicles, there will be a metal and a plastic guide. And with a plastic guide, you typically just use a flathead and, and just gently pry it out. This was a 16 millimeter. You can also use a 5 8 like I said, different vehicles will have different nuts and bolt sizes. And you can easily slide the clicker or tongue through most of the paneling. And most of the time you do not have to send your paneling in. And that's that seat belt removed. Uh, now step three is uh, sending in your old seat belts. We uh, put in the new webbing in place, whichever color you like. We sew it with a professional sewing machine that's programmed uh, for different type of styles and to the DOT specifications. We'll label your seat belt right or left and remind you to remove the webbing clip uh, after installation for easy installation process. Step three is installing your new seat belts. Installing your new seat belts, uh, you put them in place. Uh, as a reminder, you remove the seat belt webbing clip provided after the complete installation process. Uh, you go ahead and put all of the bolts back in place. I usually hand tighten first and then tighten with the tools at the very end. Um, after I tightened um, th that with my hand, I go ahead and slide the tongue through the paneling. Bolt in the upper bracket. Gently install the paneling to make sure none of the plastic clips fall off in the installation process and um, put everything in place the weather stripping the weather stripping will keep the water from coming in and the noise level to be as low as the manufacturer has designed it to be and there you go beautiful webbing in place uh, and you repeat the same process for the other side. Remember, you can slide the tongue through 
the paneling. Don't forget to tighten every single bolt, not only with your hand, but also with a tool. Make sure it's nice and tight and safe. Place all the weather stripping back and enjoy your beautiful new webbing. Thank you for watching. Stay amazing.